Hi there, my name is Ayla Thomas and I'm here today to talk to you about why the use of iPads in our classrooms are effective tools for teaching and learning within 21st century education. To begin, it is first of all important to recognise that students in our classroom are part of the digital native generation. Digital natives is a term coined by Mark Prensky to define today's students who have spent their entire lives surrounded by computers, the internet, mobile phones, and all other tools and toys of the digital age. These technologies are integral parts of our students' daily lives. It is therefore crucial that we as educators of the future embrace the emergence of technologies to maximise our students' learning in an environment that they will thrive in. The incorporation of iPads in the classroom is a certain way to ensure student engagement and make learning relevant to their 21st century world. Benefits to arise from the use of iPads include enhanced student engagement and motivation, greater access to information, portability, increased creativity, connectivity and interactivity, further collaboration among students and the teacher, as well as the device also caters for diverse learning styles. These are just some of the reasons why their use should be supported within the classroom. I will now discuss some of the reasons why iPads are useful within my curriculum area of music. In relation to the key learning area of music, iPads give our students the ability to listen to music, arrange, compose, create and rehearse whenever and wherever they may be. This allows for student direction, student self-regulation and the promotion of students' metacognitive skills. With use of iPads in the music classroom, students are able to learn songs more efficiently, put together playlists for performances, and rehearse with backing tracks for upcoming practical assessment tasks. Learning of curriculum content is made even more efficient through the iPad's internet connection, as students are able to look up online sheet music, chord progressions, and lyrics. These attributes of the iPad enhance the practical music experience for all students involved. There are also endless amounts of apps that assist with students' learning in the delivery of curriculum content. I will now discuss some of these applications and how they are effective teaching tools within the music classroom. To begin, we have GarageBand. GarageBand is an app which allows students to create and record their own musical compositions. It includes a range of built-in instruments and sound loops, enabling the artist to create a musical piece in virtually any genre they desire. The capabilities and endless opportunities provided by this app encourage students' metacognition and higher-order thinking skills. The purpose of this app is to allow students to create and compose, and as shown via Bloom's revised taxonomy, this is the highest level of complex thinking that we aim for our students to achieve. Next, we have YouTube. Educators can use YouTube to evaluate and assess individual and group performances, share content with the students, and also provide them with authentic musical experiences. For example, real-life videos and demonstrations of music from various cultures can be shown for educational purposes. This is automatically engaging to students and provides them with a much richer experience compared to the standard textbook. Ear Trainer is an educational tool that allows students to further enhance their oral skills. It is filled with exercises training the musician in the area of intervals, chords, melody, scales and relative pitch. This application would be highly beneficial throughout the senior music course and will greatly assist in preparing students for their preliminary and HSE exams as the app's content and services correspond to Music 2 syllabus outcomes. Music Theory Pro is another app which covers fundamental issues of music theory such as note names, key signatures, chords, intervals and scales. It differs from ear training in that it focuses on more than just oral skills. 
Its use within the classroom has the ability to turn pen to paper boring theory drills into a competitive and exciting music theory game that engages students and encourages higher order thinking. The final app I have chosen to discuss is Gradepad. In relation to assessing students' work, Gradepad is a performance assessment tool that would be highly beneficial within any KLA. It allows teachers to create assessments, track performances, monitor progress with additional group managing facilities, and also send data to email accounts for further analysis. Its capabilities allow teachers to organise ongoing performance assessment with simplicity and flexibility. These applications discussed are just some examples of why iPads in the classroom would be highly beneficial for both teachers and students within the 21st century learning environment. Not only do they offer endless amounts of functions within the one device, they also empower our digital native students to learn on their own, shifting their role from passive learners of knowledge to producers of knowledge. Thank you for listening.